Hello all, Chief Prepper here. Uh, just an update on the uh, potatoes. I did a video when I was cutting the, or emptying the bags. I got one potato out of all that and it was not edible. One end of it was uh, was rotted and then the other issue is I'm almost certain because I got otherwise gainfully employed as in I was doing other stuff and kind of neglected the garden uh, that they, they didn't do well. Uh, for probably lack of water and then um, I don't think I had enough dirt in the bottom of the bags uh, I've seen videos where you're supposed to add dirt as plants sprout so I will do that again in the spring uh, if things haven't changed and I will uh, do a better job so you anyway, I just want to let you know that they did sprout uh, and they did I did make one potato but that's not a have a success so, uh, anyway I encourage all of you to manage your mental health I kind of took a break from prepping I'm kind of I mean I was working on that old car a whole bunch and then uh, gearing up for a trip I took last weekend so we took a little break from everything it was a nice break it was a hard break but it was a nice break so went to good guys broad show and uh, Put in a lot of steps, let's just put it you that way. And then uh, I got to see a lot of cool old cars. Got to enter my wife's truck in there. And uh, she's talking about next time staying like we planned to this time, but we didn't because we've got a sick dog. Uh, he's got cancer and he's, he's going to be leaving us soon. So we went up there and came back in 30 hours. And uh, 12 of that was driving. So anyway, uh, it was a nice break working on the car and then I was spending a lot of time getting my truck completely ready for the trip. Uh, I have my truck, when I say my truck, I'm talking about my one-ton dually. It's fully functional at this point. There's still some things I got to do to it, but it's it's uh, it's definitely drivable. Unfortunately, it got 8.9 miles per gallon on the way up, probably about the same or worse on the way down. So we went up to Fort Worth. So. Y'all stay safe. The news is full of bad news. Everything seems to be getting worse. The cost of living is going up. There's all kinds of bad news stories coming out of Europe. Uh, I really feel for those people because while we're going to suffer here in America, they're going to suffer a lot worse. So, but I do think and concur with some of the other channels out there that what we're seeing in Europe right now is going to arrive here in the U.S. next year cost of doing business goes up, more and more businesses will go under, and as that happens, it will become insurmountably harder to uh, do anything. So I encourage all of you right now, if you haven't already been, start taking financial steps to make sure you free up money uh, for the impending rise in cost of everything. So I encourage you to find ways to heat your house that don't involve electricity in case that skyrockets over the winter. Because natural gas prices have gone through the roof, and in Texas, at least essential city public service says they generate a lot of electricity by natural gas, even though the two plants here locally in San Antonio are coal plants. Uh, I wish I had better news. Uh, I encourage all of you to make sure you get your gardens ready, start prepping your garden space this, win this winter and fall like pinball does. I have a bunch of pepper plants that I'm going to be digging up and trying to overwinter. And uh, from now on, I think with my pepper plants, I'm only going to container garden. Uh, the big push for me between now and the end of December is going to be able to get the back porch finished so that uh, when I dig those plants up, I can put them in containers and then hopefully keep them alive over winter. So, anyway, keep prepper out.